to the Farbicaster. My name is Lou and this is my fifth in a series of guitar mods, although today we're going to be building a Stompbox clone and not working on a guitar. Now the one that I chose to work on is the Build Your Own Clone 250 Plus, which is their easiest model, costs $64, and it's a copy of the DOD 250 or the MXR Distortion Plus. Both have very similar circuits and you can build either one from this kit. Before you actually get started, please practice your soldering. I didn't, I wasn't very good at soldering, and my first build did not work. As you can see, my first switch really didn't look very good. When I made a picture of it and sent it in to them for suggestions, they sent me an email telling me that it was the worst soldering job that they'd ever seen. So back to the drawing board, practiced my soldering a lot, and my next attempt at building the switch came out like this. Now the first time I put the box together I wasn't very neat, I ended up with a pile of spaghetti wires. The second time I was a lot neater, came out looking like this, and it worked just fine. Now, you're going to find their instructions on their website, download them and read them over, and you'll see how easy the clone is to build. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and order. What you're going to receive is a sturdy metal case, which I decided to paint tan. You'll receive all of the innards, such as the diodes and resistors. You'll get your potentiometers, your switch, a length of wire, everything you need except the soldering iron and solder itself. Strongly suggest that you use a pencil tip soldering iron, low wattage. Do not use a soldering gun, it's way too powerful. And also use rosin core solder. When you remove the components from the box, please separate all the small resistors and diodes, put them in plastic bags, or tape them to masking tape such as I did and label them it's going to reduce your confusion, make it a lot easier to put the kit together. Also get a, a soldering stand with alligator clips such as this, extremely helpful. And really important, get yourself a lighted magnifier. Now, follow the instructions step by step, and you should be fine. And you'll come out with something that sounds like this. <laughs> Not bad. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, please send them to me on YouTube, and I'll be happy to answer them. And thank you very much for watching.